Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to More Than Just a Dog. My name is Kayla. It's like five o'clock in the morning, but we are headed to a rally trial today, and I want to show you guys what that looks like from behind the scenes. So let's get started. First things first, I've always got to greet the best girl in the whole wide world and remind her that she's perfect. Once both Forrest and Maya are awake, I bring them outside so they can do their business. And you don't really need to see that, right? You can just use your imagination. Okay, perfect. Once back inside, it's time for breakfast. Just like most days, they get enrichment in the morning and they definitely keep their eyes on me to make sure that I'm doing it right. In case either of these toys look particularly interesting to you, by the way, I've made reviews for both the Hide and Slide, which is the toy that Maya got, and also the Bobolot, which Forrest received. So feel free to check them out after this video. Anyway, once they're eating, it's my turn too. Then I prepare treats, which happen to be hot dogs this time around, but I've also brought cheese, chicken, or roast beef. But no matter what, Maya and Forrest always watch the entire process. Speaking of Forrest, sometimes he comes with us, but on this day, he happened to stay home, so it was just Maya and me. And once she figured out where we were headed, that we were headed to a trial, she could not contain her excitement. Do you wanna... <laughs> you didn't even ask you what And I have no idea how she knows where we're going, but as soon as she figures out that we are going to a trial, this is always how she reacts, and it's one of my favorite things. After loading up into the car, we hit the road, and while it started as a gray day, the weather cleared up pretty fast by the time we got to the trial site, so Maya stretched her legs before going inside. I checked in with the stewards and got our armband, then I also headed back to our crating space and studied the map for our first master class of the day. There was really only one sign that I was particularly worried about because we hadn't practiced for it in a while. The rest of the signs in this particular course we see quite often, and a couple of them were actually her favorites, including the spin to the left, which we just made a video about. She also loves every time she gets the chance to do a jump, which meant that afterward, as we approached that tough sign, she was super bouncy, super adorable, and she absolutely nailed it. I always say that she would get extra points for cuteness all of the time if that were allowed. Anyway, she finished the course and she qualified, so we waited just a little bit longer back at our creating space. Soon it was time for us to head back into another master class later that morning. I wasn't particularly worried about any of the signs on this course, but that doesn't mean that it wasn't challenging. Maya actually lost a point or two for the bobble on this sign where you're supposed to back up three steps and then stand your dog. She lost focus for only a second, but it is still considered an imperfection in the performance and teamwork, so the judge rightfully docked us. Regardless, she still did well enough to qualify in her second master class of the day, which means that she earned her 20th master leg overall in her rally career, giving her something called the Rally Master 2 title, which is also occasionally referred to as the RM2. And that brings us one step closer to her rock. Wish Maya congratulations by hitting that like button. And if you're interested in seeing more of Maya's rally journey, make sure you hit subscribe and ring the bell. Until next time, no matter what you do with your dog next, good luck and have fun. See ya.